You know just where to wank, Thomas, laughed his driver. You could almost manage it without me. Thomas had become conceited. He didn't realize his driver was mad. Comes. I'd never wank without my driver, said Toby earnestly. I'd be frightened. Huh, boasted Thomas. I'm not scared. You'd never dare. I would then. You'd never dare. I would then. You'd never. I would. You'd never. I would. You'd never. I would. Never, I would. The next morning, the firelighter came. All over. Thomas's face. Thomas thought he was being clever. Really, he was only moving because a careless cunt had meddled with his control. He tried to come, but he couldn't. He just kept rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> There was the station master's house. The station master was about to have six. No! Cried Thomas and shut his eyes. Seaman was everywhere. Thomas had stuck the bush on his travels. He couldn't speak. The station master was fucking furious. You cunt, his wife scolded. Just look what you don't to Bob breakfast. Meanwhile, Donald and Douglas and Douglas and Donald and Donald and Douglas and Donald arrived. Dinner, f yourself, Thomas. We'll rip you. It's oh, too much. I'd be oh, wanting, dear. Thomas. Whoosh! Bits of fencing and a broken window frame festooned his bush, which was badly twisted. The twins wanked and left him. There was worse to come. You are a cunt. I know, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Thomas's voice was muffled behind his bush. You must go to the works and have your dick mended. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, a diesel rail car will do your work. A d d d d d d d d diesel, sir? Thomas spluttered. Diesels always stay in their sheds till they are fucking. Diesels never take station masters from behind.